time for some Altered Beast 32X version on the Genesis, the Sega emulator called Kega Fusion. This system being used is a AMD Athlon 2X2 at 3.2 gigahertz with an AMD Radeon HD 6770. Right now I'm going to go through and play one of my, some of my favorite games and see how far I can get before I game over. See if I can make it through the whole thing still. Two levels, three levels, or even make it past the first level. So, here we go. The rise from your grave is one of the most iconic things I remember from this game. Besides turning into a werewolf. It was one of the first time I remember a voice in a game, it was also the first time I remember playing a game was in Sonic's Progressive System. Who can forget? Welcome to the Welcome to the Welcome to your Welcome to your Now let's see. I used to be able to beat this guy without getting hit one time. Let's see if I can still do it. I was pleased you should be able to keep your power in the nuclear level. Or when you take it, they should give you a two man not expect you to be this whole day with them three lives. Which, not that it's not possible to do it. I have done it in the past, and I might watch my brothers do it. And... Look who decided to join. In different way. Another thing I'm going to tell anybody playing this, or who's never played this who doesn't know, that if you don't get the first three power ups, you're going to lose a lot of power after that, because it just goes on and on and more enemies and more enemies and it's Go. 
Try this again. Let's try to at least get past that third level. Or get to it before dying. If I can get my own monster system away. I guess to fully get the Christian nostalgic value of this game for me, for most people playing, I should be playing with the, uh, the Sega Master System or the arcade version. And I guess it all depends because for me, the Sega Master System version. But I chose this one because it has the best graphics. And the game plan is, I don't remember being any different. Although I don't remember being able to jump this high in the other ones. Besides this one in the arcade. bullshit basically. You're trying to save the daughter of Zeus. If I remember correctly, that is the story from uh what is the a warlock I don't really remember. And these are one of the most annoying enemies. Because of that. Press left and right, left and right, as fast as you can to kill that master. The longer it's on you, the more health it takes. I'm not sure how to get a higher high score. Or how to make this idiot say welcome to your doom faster. I say just move around and show you how to how to score. The eyeball thing picks you. 
<laughs> yeah. But usually, as long as you do what doesn't what you meant to do, it's fine. Uh, there's not much more else to really say about this game besides it's fun and to play it. And I just remember my brother had a Sega Master System. Crap. And I remember playing this game. Power up. I hate those things. And those. Once you go to the English world enough, you learn where the enemies are coming from, where all your problems are. I've seen a lot of people play this over the years, especially back when it first came out, and I don't remember anybody be going through this entire game the first time playing. I think the difference in the Sega one, I think the, the Genesis one, or maybe even the Master System one, but I'm pretty sure one of them, you can, um, pretty sure there's one of them that you can choose to have five lives, it, maybe it was a cheat, I don't know. I remember somehow you could basically put it on anything you have. Uh, five, you can have, I think, you can have more men and five hit points. Or five hit bars on your health bar. I remember at some point, like I said, I don't remember if it was a cheat or what. The hardest part of this
And as of right now, that's it for my Altered Beast playthrough.